A woman in Sun Lake says she's having a heck of a feud with her bank and it has to do with a $1,300 deposit. She says the bank has mistakenly put a six month hold on this deposit, meaning she can't even access that money. Three on your sites, Gary Harper got involved and joins us with the details. Usually those holes are only a few days, maybe two. Yeah, this is for 180 days wow. and wow. it's not just a, a regular deposit. This is from the Social Security Administration. She really needs that check. The $1,300 check is for her husband, actually, who recently died. And that seems to be the big problem here. The bank believes the money mistakenly went to a deceased person, so they froze it. It's my husband, Tom, with uh, Nolan Ryan. It's in Texas. Jeanette Robson likes to take a trip down memory lane every once in a while. And boy, yeah, does she have a lot of memories. Artist. Yes, it is. It's Cal Ripken and my husband, Tom. Her deceased husband is Tom Robson, a former Major League Baseball player who married Jeanette during a baseball game back in 1968. It was the opposing team and our team formed bats, uh, touched bats from second base all the way up to home plate. Newspapers uh, called the ceremony the 21 bat salute and Jeanette and Tom remained happily married until April of this year when unfortunately Tom passed away due to complications from Alzheimer's. And it was sad to see him not be able to move or be the same. But here's the problem. Tom passed away on April 20th and his social security check was deposited into the couple's Chase Bank account a day later on April 21st. As a result, Chase Bank froze the $1,300 deposit out of concern that social security mistakenly gave money to a deceased man. But Jeanette says what Chase doesn't know is that the $1,300 deposit is legitimate and from the month of March when Tom was living. Social Security pays in arrears, so when you get paid in uh, April, it's for payment for March. And so he was alive Tom and was well. alive and well during March. Jeanette says she asked Chase Bank to release the $1,300 funds, but they refuse. So three in your side got involved, and after explaining the issue, Chase Bank agreed to release the hold, allowing this widow access to her $1,300. Jeanette says if it wasn't for three in your side, she wonders if she'd ever get that money. Gary made that phone call, and then after that phone call, I received the phone call from Chase, and it's all taken care of. So Gary did it. Three on your side did it. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. And again, Chase had put that hold on there for about 180 days, meaning if they had waited that entire time, that check would not have gone through until mm -hmm. like around October. Oh, and we were able to get it maybe in just a couple of weeks. But yeah. uh, I'm really super glad we were able to help her out. Yeah. I mean, $1,300, Social Security, and, you know, it was her husband's check. Yeah, and everything she's already going through yeah, emotionally, uh, right? Exactly, on right, on top of it. Thanks, Gary. You bet. Don't forget, if you like that story, you just want more three on your side, we've got a podcast now. Go wherever you listen to your podcast. You can download it for free.